Hi, I am Kushbu from Link. Link makes integrating software applications and onboarding new merchants easy. We help businesses to seamlessly integrate the apps, driving their daily operations. Our vision is to enhance efficiency, reduce costs, and open new revenue streams for our partners. In this video, I will walk you through how a Flipdish salesperson will set up an integration with the floor via the Link portal. Here, we will be using a Link's staging environment. I already had an account, so I directly logged in. But before login, you will have to create an account and verify it through your email. Now, clicking on Create an Integration will take me to a page where I can create an integration. Here, I'm adding a Flipdish account. If you already have a Flipdish account added to this portal, you can directly select it from the drop-down. But now that I do not have any account added, I'm adding it again. So store ID, Flipdish account ID, I can get it from the URL of my store Flipdish store. I can either by default ETA for my orders. Tax name can be any name, and it's also an optional field tax rate any tax rate can be added whatever you use for your store. It's also an optional field tax included in price. You can toggle it off. If your taxes are not included in the price item price. Now adding a POS system. Here we are using Clover. And now that I do not have any Clover account added, I'm adding it here again. Selecting a region, my region is USA for this Clover account. selecting SP Party Stores as my Clover Merchant. This might take a few seconds or two minutes. A Clover account has been added. Selecting the Clover account. So I'm selecting the Flipdish account that I just added. Selecting the account from where my orders will be pushed, and the push from my menu will be pushed. Clicking on Create Integration. We'll create an integration between our just created Flipdish and Clover account. For your reference, we have already added multiple accounts, so multiple Flipdish is connected to one single Clover account. We will be using CSS Test Store 3 for our menu and ordering flow. Here in the Clover Sandbox account, I am adding a new item. This item should be synced to Flipdish account and store CSS Test Store 3. The item name I am adding is a new item from Clover, giving a new category name as well. Also adding a new modifier group. Now shift it to the CSS Test Store 3 side. See the item has been synced. Mod 1 and Mod 2 were my modifiers in the modifier group that I had added on the item. Now creating an order from Flipdish, and that should be synced to Clover. I added spicy fajita with two modifiers. Added a chef note to my order, and also added a voucher code that will be used as a discount code. Let me also increase the number of items.
My order type is a takeout item that I need to pick up from the store. We have a feature of auto accepting an order from Flipdish, so you do not need to manually accept it. We have received the item here, spicy fajita, two items. There's also the chef notes added. Let me show you the details of the order. The order is a pickup type. The auto total is $450. Number of items, $1,000. 